Hello there my RPG lovers and welcome to another video. I recently did a video about a couple of combat mods which are supposed to increase the sense of impact upon hit and I started building a brand new combat mod list based on those mods. I'm still in the process of testing and trying out different combinations but I really want to talk about one particular mod which makes the combat a lot more dynamic. It's called Attack Behavior Revamp and it will completely change how you approach the combat in Skyrim. The biggest and the most important feature of this mod is the combo system. It basically puts all of your attacks in a combo sequence, but you still have a lot of control of your individual hits. So what does that mean exactly? Well, more than a couple of things actually, but let's start from the beginning. With each normal attack performed, your character will slightly move forward, which could be a bit harder to get used to. It's actually pretty useful for closing the gap between you and the enemy you're going to attack. When it comes to power attacks, you can now press and hold the button and your character will not perform the power attack until you release the button. This is a great feature because it adds a really nice tactical element to basically each combat encounter. It becomes much easier to time your power attacks properly. So what about those combos? Continuously pressing the normal attack button is the simplest combo you can perform. This works with every weapon type in the game. Now here's where it gets a lot more interesting. This mod allows you to combine normal and power attacks in a combo. For example you can press the normal attack once and then hold the power attack. Your character then performs the combo of 3 attacks in total. Speaking of 3 attacks, you can now hold right and left mouse clicks to execute a standing 3 hit attack. And just like every other attack, you can include this hit within a combo. Here are a couple of examples. If you start the fight with one normal attack and then you press left and right mouse clicks at once, you will perform a right power attack. To perform a left power attack within a combo, you would need to attack twice with your normal attacks first. This combo can be useful in a lot of situations with multiple opponents. Now let's take a look at some advanced combos. And while advanced combos are nice, you won't have a lot of situations where you can actually use them. Especially if you have some mods which make the enemy AI a lot smarter, like complete enemy overhaul which I highly recommend. There is a high chance that your combo will get interrupted or you're going to take a lot of hits while performing it. So you're going to use shorter combos way more often. I talked about the ability to time your power attacks, but I haven't mentioned that you can actually go straight to the combo after you perform this attack. This is one of the most effective ways to start a fight and do some damage, and it's definitely the combo that I use the most. It's especially useful if you're playing a battle mage character. You can hold the power attack in one hand while you get ready to cast a spell in your other hand. Then you release the spell and your power attack and go straight to the combo. It's one of the coolest things you can do with this mod. One more really useful short combo is the side power attack that you can do right after you dodge. But if you try to hold the power attack right after you dodge, it actually won't work. So here's a little tip about timing this hit properly. You want to start holding the power attack right after you hear the sound effect from dodging. If you do it properly, you will never fail to perform this side power attack. With some practice, you can even do it slightly before you hear the sound effect if you want to time it perfectly. If you're wondering about the dodge mod I'm using, Combat Gameplay Overhaul is responsible for that. ABR is completely compatible with Combat Gameplay Overhaul and the main version of the mod is actually developed for it. 
but if you don't use that overhaul, you can grab the standalone version instead. Now let's talk about one optional but highly recommended mod. You could notice before that I was using different types of standing power attacks when we talked about the 3 hit combo. You won't be able to do that if you don't get the mod called Stances. This mod is obviously inspired by a similar combat feature that we can find in Neo games. You get a couple of different stances that you can switch on the fly by a press of a button. Each stance has different animations for normal and power attacks, as well as the combo attacks. Like I said before, it's totally optional, you don't have to install this mod for ABR to work. But it's definitely a nice addition to this whole package, you can try it out and remove it if you don't like it. Speaking of additional mods, in the beginning of the video I mentioned a couple of them which increase the sense of impact. Those would be flinching and ZX Slice hit stop. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you probably know that I have a dedicated video about these two mods. If you want to know exactly what they do, I recommend watching that video. In short, they're responsible for increasing the sense of impact upon hits, and I think they work great with attack behavior revamp. If you're an experienced modder, you can go further with the settings of this mod, which means that you can manually replace each attack animation. That's something that I plan to do in the near future, so I might make another video about that. If you're a beginner when it comes to Skyrim modding, you should probably stick to the default settings of the mod. Before you decide to install this mod, you should know that it's not really polished. But the mod auto releases updates on a regular basis, so we can expect it to be more stable in the near future. I haven't spent a lot of time with this mod yet, but it's quite enjoyable so far. Mainly because it's so different from everything that I tried, the idea of combos in Skyrim is by itself really interesting. If you don't want to stray too far away from the vanilla combat experience, it's probably not a mod for you. But if you want something different for a new playthrough, it's definitely worth checking out. For this mod to work, you will need to have Nemesis Behavior Engine and Dynamic Animation Replacer. So there is some additional work that you have to do if you want to install it. And that will be it I guess. Like I said in the beginning, I'm still in the process of testing out the full combat mod list, which I plan to feature in a new video. I don't want to rush that video, I'm really careful with everything that I install, and there is a lot of playtesting so bear with me. Anyway, tell me what combat mods you're using in your current playthrough. Do you like to keep it as close as possible to vanilla experience, or you like to experiment a bit with each new playthrough? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more RPG content. If you want to support the channel in the long run, consider becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member. You can get your name on the end credits as well as some other perks like early access to videos, Discord roles, my plans for future content, etc. etc. That will be all and I'll see you in the next one.